Okay, so this video is about how artificial intelligence, AI, is already killing, in my opinion. It's not really saying that AI can kill you in the future. Let me turn off this fan a little bit. Okay, so I'm saying artificial intelligence, AI, is already killing programs like STAD, uh, STADD Pro. Wait till I get to it. So STAD Pro would be... Let's move over. Oh, okay. So you, everybody keeps sending me the crane shots. What can you get about the crane turning over the build or the structure? You can see the rebar in the column there, how it's placed. Um, so if you watch the video, you'll see the height of one of the floors. Apparently, that's on the ground floor, and that's your uh, your bet your sub level that the walls in yet. And at least you can see the rebars and how they would probably put a floor there, right about here, and then they would concrete above tying the concrete right about to there and then uh, let it let it set up and then form again reinforce this all the way through the floor uh, jumping up floors all right so what do we have here FIU pedestrian bridge collapse so finite um, okay what's program I'm looking at oh uh, let's try this. All right. Um, let's try this. Okay. Oh, this is the original build. Uh, the original for the for the for the for the designer of the structure. So pass on that. I didn't mean to go to that page at all. Let's slip over to this one. Um, a local agency lap. Right. So here we go. So uh, let's go with finite over here. So that collapse was evaluated, FIU bridge collapse was using uh, the program um, STAD Pro. Let's see. So, so they used STAD Pro there. Three-dimensional 3D used uh, trust system of the bridge were created using STAD Pro. Now, let's bring it back to this commenter over here. Here's to be an engineer. It says, tells me to stay in my lane. It says, construction... Failure analysis. Why do you bother? Don't you have all the answers already, as you claim in your channels in each video? Haven't you already figured out the cause of failure in your channel? Um, well, that's kind of failure in the channel could be because I did, oh, oh, you didn't mean the channel. You meant the videos. Oh, I understand. I'm being. I'm having fun, guys. You just know what. It, you have all the data, don't you? Of course I don't. This person is being. They're, they're feeling attacked. They're obviously. Uh, and the only way they can tack back is playing straw man or straw woman. You have all the data, don't you? Of course I don't. If uh, if you have done, if you have not done any structural analysis but made the big claims on your channel, that is a big shame on you. Okay, big shame on me. You are nothing but a hypothesi hypothesizer. So why do you bother? Who gives who gives money to whom to run Stad, Stad Pro? How does that affect you? Stay. Stay on your lane and continue shooting in the dark. Okay. So this person has put together no no details forward. They're telling me to use Stad Pro up here. And and they're so they're assisting on that. So that's their what they paying for is Stad Pro. So if they're paying for Stad Pro, that's their that's their stupidity. They lost their engineering skills if they ever had any. Stad Pro is also what was used over here for the FIU bridge. Collapse. Um, this Stad Pro, what, what this engineer is referring to over there, and that 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 program was so damn good. I'm being facetious now. It, it, the, these engineers. This is where artificial intelligence kills. An engineer like that believes you can enter the, the do analysis of a 40 year old structure using Stad Pro. That's the same thing that FIU Bridge thought they could do after the fact. They used Stad Pro. This is one of the images while the bridge before they collapsed while it was still in position. Look at the cracks of this thing where this guy, this person can stick a tape measure down there seven inches. Now STAD Pro, when they did the analysis of this, they entered the structure as undamaged. They did not enter this fracture in here inside there to get to their, their, their final analysis. This is sort of like NIST did with the uh, one, one building collapse where they removed the column. Well, this is, those engineers like that, the STAD Pro, again, how engineers and how artificial intelligence is currently killing people. 
at a two-hour meeting before this collapse, they used a, a uh, software, a finite program to do computer analysis. All the engineers, nobody stopped this from going forward from post-tensioning, this structure. This, 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 literally, this member here got post-tensioning kips into the, into the thousands of pounds, and it was already fractured. It would be like you having a fractured leg, and instead of me repairing your fracture, I just decided to put more, fracture, more pressure inside your leg and tell you that's going to fix you. Everyone in, com everyone in common sense knows it's a broken leg. You don't, you don't do that. But he, this is the OSHA report, and this is what your finite elements look like when you're when you're running it. And then they run it and they pretend like the loads are. They they do they do a it's, it's artificial intelligence again, without adding the cracks, without actually adding the uh, uh, the issues that are going on. Do you see the cracks inside these members that they, in this finite program? No. So they run a program, and then they make the program, the bias, I told you about that, confirmation bias, work to make it so they want to come up with shear transfer failure, that it's sheared off. In reality, when they detention the structure, number 11 was detention. This is number 11 was detention. These cracks appear. Their own report says cracked like hell. So their own report says it says it uh, – I don't know, rotate. Uh, okay, I can do hell. Okay, one of hell. It cracked like hell. See, figure, uh, blanket, how do I rotate this? Um, right there. This is the person that, that, that the, uh, once they detentioned it that day, uh, VSL is a post-tension company. It cracked like hell. See, figure 23 is what he stated. And then, so this thing is totally, it cracked like hell. So it's already, it's in failure mode, and then they decide to run a finite element program on it. This is from her cell phone showing the, uh, what happened there. Again, this is using this, this, this programming that, that the narrative is going to be controlled by. Now, the engineer that keeps uh, commenting over here believes that you should use that program to evaluate this 40-year-old structure. So they're what? They're going to put together, make the 40-year-old structure young again, use the finite program, they're going to control where they want it to fail, and then they're going to make sure that the data will, 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 do, will match up to that failure. So this is disingenuous to say use STAD Pro in here. It's impossible to use STAD Pro in here. This is how engineers kill. This is how um, finite pro in programs that they use. This is, so artificial intelligence is already killing. Because, again, they had a two-hour meeting before they went back over to that bridge and post tension added more post tension back down that crippled member that number 11 that I, I showed you it was already fractured and a tape measure you can you can see it in a tape measure it was already fractured here's the the back of the column I did many videos on this showing this column is still sick there is no break at this column here so we got this concrete lifted up back here this column is what rotated outwards and you have the, the, the flexural cracks going all the way down. But this is a rotation of this column. Here's a fine crack right there. This is after, this is after they already had the meeting and before they put the post tension on it. There is a drop in elevation. It's like three inches over here. And then this one's got maybe four inches. So you can see it's a rotation. It's no longer in line. This is actually down. The other side is up. So here's about four inches on the tape measure here. And the other side is there. So this deck, this uh, this back area of the of the post tension bridge is, is already torqued. The finite element program didn't start from that position. They started from a perfectly healthy structure and decided to just need shims under there, without adding all of the, all of the structural damage that was uh, this part of this issue. There's a tape. There's a stick tape measure down inside there. Let's see if I can rotate this. So I can get rid of this. Rotate clockwise for you. All right, so you can see it sticks into the concrete by four inches. Noteworthy is the face of this concrete back here is about three and a half, and that's about four and three quarter. This is connected to this uh, end post, if you will. So this tells you that this end post is lifted up, rotated to the right as we look at this image. R rotation there. This, again, is what this person, this engineer, once insisted that, that I stay in my lane and insist that a STAD program is the way to go. Again, it, it, this is what killed those people at, at the finite programs or what assisted in the murder deaths 
of these people there um, contributed to the death of them because they used a finite program in a two-hour meeting before this. The STAD pros or whatever it may have been, I can, you can find the two-hour report. And they did not add this structural defects in there. STAD, STAD's programs, all of them work from a position of, um, of good, healthy, new materials. They don't know how to enter. You can't enter in, uh, you know, the, the complications of this. This is something that takes human intelligence to do, human intelligence to be able to look at. STAD program, how do you enter this in a STAD program? How do you enter that in this STAAD program? How, how do you enter that? You, you, you just can't. You can't. So that at that rate, it's just it's just disingenuous to to say that. Here's the again. This is what this person is uh, is advocating, saying use the engineering programs to determine what's going on. That's the same thing they did here. So the end of the video again is artificial intelligence is already killing. It's already part of killing. Any if they show this stad programs or anything like that in the modeling of this, you've been handled a bunch of bullshit. Because in reality, you should be able to walk it through like a crime scene, explaining what's taking place at each time, at each moment in time. You should be able to fill in each moment of time, just like a crime scene. STAT program is, is delusional because it shows you a computer-generated uh, model that's leaving out things like the fracture, the timeline, what happened next, where's the, at this point, you know, the elevations... Who is you know all all of the other factors specifically this 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 uh this post tension here at times too when they decided to post tension it again um, per 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 um, the uh, finite element program that they model this on clearly showing that uh but not but but not showing in the finite program not showing this fracture um, so. It's like they it, it totally just all of those engineers there, Florida Department, the Florida representing the federal government's side of this, the pass through. Um, FIU department had its own. Uh, they are building engineer inspectors. The uh, the uh, post tension company that that stated they're experts in post tensioning doing repairs. They should have known not to do that, right? They got sued for that. All of them did. The builder himself that went on to, to continue this operation, uh, all of them, including uh, the engineers that lost their uh, their uh, their uh, their contracts. Let's put it that way. So once again, finite elements. This is, I believe this is an engineer right here stating this program and telling me that uh, you know being nasty with their comments. And I want to and I'm taking this opportunity to talk about artificial intelligence. And how it's already killing. That you're worried about it taking over power grids and stuff like that. Fuck that. It's already killing in the construction industry. It's already doing that. All right, so that's my rant.